The Crawford Mausoleum or Tomb is one of six 17th century memorial monuments found in Ayrshire. This one lies in the cemetery of what was the old Barony Kirk, now known as Coburney Old Kirk. Built in 1594, this unique structure commemorates Captain Thomas Crawford of Jordan Hill and his wife, Janet Kerr, who came from nearby Kersland Castle. Being the sixth son of Lawrence Crawford of Coburney, he had no chance of inheriting his father's lands, so instead he became a professional soldier. After his experiences abroad as a soldier, he returned to Scotland and became an advisor to Mary Queen of Scots. He also became an advisor and friend to Lord Darnley, her husband. He was assassinated, and it may be this fact, together with the Catholicism that Mary Queen of Scots was trying to spread throughout Scotland and his own Protestant beliefs, that led to him turning against her. Captain Crawford is particularly remembered for his action in taking Dumbarton Rock. He was held by supporters of Mary, and in a unique action, he had ladders placed up one side of the rock, which was thought to be unclimbable. With 150 troops, he managed to take the castle. There's a story that goes with it, whereby one of the soldiers froze and could not move from the, from the ladder. So the ladder was turned round, and his companions climbed up above him. His motto was God sure the Richt. This was given to him by the Earl of Morton as a result of his defeat of Commander Huntley, who was the commander of Edinburgh Castle. And as a result of this, the castle was given over to the supporters of James VI. By way of gratitude for his support, James VI gave him the lands of Jordan Hill in Glasgow, as well as a £200 annual annuity. The carved statues of Janet and Thomas lie horizontally within the monument. There is one viewing window and two other windows that let in some light. He is wearing his suit of armour, although his head is exposed. His hands are crossed across his waist. She is wearing the traditional clothing of the time and has her hands clasped in prayer. Thomas died in 1603, and a flat stone lying on the side where the inscription is states that his body is buried below it. The other five 17th century memorial monuments in Ayrshire differ very greatly in their size and in their design. The Glen Cairn Isle lies behind St Moore's Glen Cairn Church in Kilmores. It was the burial site of the Earls of Glen Cairn, the Cunninghams. The Bargany Isle is the burial site of one of the Kennedys of Bargany, killed in a feud amongst the Kennedy family. It lies at Ballantrae. The Skelmily Isle is the burial site of one of the Montgomerys of Skelmily. The Reverend Adair has a monument that lies at the back of the old Church of Ayr. And finally, the Reverend Hans Hamilton, the first Presbyterian minister of Dunlop Church, his monument known locally as the Picture House, lies near Dunlop Church. Close to the Crawford Monument are two aisles that extend from Coburney Kirk. One is the Cunningham of Glencarnock Isle, the other is the Crawford of Coburney Isle. 